Thanks for joining us at 5. A sigh of relief is coming from school districts in the Ozarks just in time. Large and small districts say they have almost all, if not all, of their teaching positions filled. Color 10 Sydney Moran is live at Clever School District this evening, giving us an update on staffing across the Ozarks region. Well, here at Clever School District, they were actually able to fill 34 teacher positions, but they are still looking for some support staff positions, something other districts need to fill too. For us to be able to fill all those positions, it's a great feeling. For the growing school district in Clever, being fully staffed is a need. Pre-K through 12th grade, we have 1,300 students around that area. The district was able to fill 34 teacher positions with the help of increased salaries. Going from about from March until May, we filled a lot of those positions. There still was a few that we filled in May. But at this point, we're able to fill all those positions. The school year starts on Tuesday for Clever, but there still are a few support positions needed, like paraprofessionals. The paraprofessional position is kind of one of those, the backbone of your district. They kind of go everywhere, they do everything. Clever is needing two paraprofessionals for the year. Without those, those people, um, we would not be able to, to meet the needs of all our students. Springfield Public Schools Deputy Superintendent John Mulford says they also need support staff. We're short about one custodian for every two buildings. We have uh, around 30 or so paraprofessional or classroom aid positions that we still need to fill. You know, we're 90 to 93 percent staffed, um, but, it, but we need those other positions to truly meet the needs that our students have. Mulford says increased pay has also helped the district with staffing. As of uh, Monday of this week, we had eight classroom vacancies that uh, we still uh, needed to fill. We have almost 2,000 teachers. I mean, that's a pretty small percentage. So uh, we feel pretty good about where we're at as it relates to classroom positions. Overall, both schools are looking forward to the start of the year with all the staff. And we're in a really good spot. We are super excited for seeing our kids back on the 22nd. Now, I also reached out to Spokane and Bradleyville school districts and good news from them. They say they are also fully staffed for the upcoming school year. Reporting in Clever, Sydney Moran, Ozarks First. All right.